what a text really gives us. This is the second Sunday. Home, so so we're gonna keep homecoming and scamping now, y'all. Homecoming, you know, we're gonna start uh, Sunday school at nine o'clock, and we'll have homecoming at ten. You know, we're gonna be inside. Yeah. So I wanna let y'all know that because uh, it'll make a big difference for the Sunday school people. Mm -hmm. Today is August the 14th, 2022. <coughs> Subject so lesson, a new city. Um, Revelation 21, verses 19 through 27. Uh, the printed text is Revelation 21, 9 through 21. Uh, keep in mind, is, and the wall of the city had 12 foundations. And they gave the names of the 12 apostles of the land. Revelation 21 and 14. Aim for changes. By the end of this lesson, we will explore the possibility of living in a new place. Imagine the riches and serenity of living in New Jerusalem and celebrate God's provision of a new city for believers throughout eternity. Unified principles, no place like it. It is difficult for people to imagine living in a place that is totally different from the one in which they present live in. What would a new place be like? Revelation 21 uses figurative language to describe the brilliant new city God would create. God is preparing us for the new city. Change. Change is the is one of the believer's biggest problems. Because yeah. we do not like to change. And God is trying to show us that we have to change to, to be prepared for a new place. And, 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 and it's difficult, and we don't want to admit it, but change is the problem. Nobody wants to, um, to um, we get accustomed to the way we've been doing business. Um, we get accustomed to the way things are, or was. So, so when so things are changing, it, 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 it brings on problem because uh, we have to learn to adapt. Uh, we have to learn to be more flexible in, in, in the way things are going. Amen. So, so in this lesson, God is preparing us to be able to, to accept the change that's going to take place. So, so, so the new city. So let us read uh, the pretty text, Revelation 9. Verse starting to verse 9. Let's start reading verse, um, I think we got enough to read two verses apiece. And there came unto me one of the seven names, which had the seven vessels full of the seven last players. And talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the lamb of the wife. Ten, and he carried me away with his spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city. The only Is large as its brethren. And 
and he measured the city with the reed, 12,000 furlongs, the length and the breadth and the height of the Verse 17, he measured the wall thereof, 140 and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of the ankle. And the building of the wall of it was a jasper, and the city was pure gold, like unto a clear glass. 19. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third a chaldeon, the fourth an emerald. The fifth, Sarnax, the sixth, Ceres, and the seventh, Christosoms, the eighth, Beryl, and the ninth, Topaz, the tenth, Sharpus, Sharpus, and the eleventh, Janet, and the twelve Amethyst, and the twelve gates were, were twelve pearls. Every several gates was one of was one pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold, and it was transparent glass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the end of reading the God's word. My sister, mother, go read them. People, place, and time, and mother, wants you read the background. Okay, the new Jews, the Israelites of old, along with all of God's people, down through the ages, long for the coming of time, when we will live in complete eternal peace. The new Jerusalem. Revelation 21, 1 and 2 was predicted even before the exile ended. Isaiah 65, 17, 66, 22. The God Jews prayed regularly for the restoration of Jerusalem. Eventually, the idea of New Jerusalem came to symbolize hope for the Jewish nation. <clears throat> this new city would be a place built by God, for the righteous would dwell with him in perfect peace forever. When speaking of a city, we are speaking of not only the physical infrastructure, but also the people who dwell in that city. In this sense, the new holy city of Jerusalem is symbolic of the church as the redeeming bride of Christ. The background. After John's vision of the new heaven and the new earth, the believer's final and eternal habitation the angel shows him a more specific picture. The church here described as the bride, Revelation 21 and 9, and the holy Jerusalem, verse 10. The new Jerusalem prepared as a bride for going for her husband, 21 and 2, is now shown to be a realm of perfect life, beauty, bounty, and holiness. This passage explains in graphic detail <coughs> the implications of that glorious statement, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, in verse 3. The rich imagery used here and elsewhere in the scripture seeks to portray in shimmering detail how great the believer's inheritance is, being with God himself and all his glory. One might imagine the Apostle Paul had this passage in mind when he said, I have not seen, mm -hmm. not here heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. 1 mm -hmm. Corinthians 2 and 9. Amen. 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 The, uh, uh, a new city. Uh, a new city. Somebody was saying, well, what's wrong with the old city? <laughs> that would that, be that the, the, the first. But the new city is it, it, spotless. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so, so, so because we have a, a new body, uh, we're a new creature, he, we have to have a, a new residence. So, 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 John, the apostle John, is on the Isle of Patmos, and, and the text says, the angel said, come here, and I will show thee a bride, the lamb's wife. Mm -hmm. So, so, first of all, he, he presents the church, not the building, mm -hmm. the people, yes. mm -hmm. as the 
the bride. So, so we, and so she, he referred to us believers as the bride who, who, who ha has been prepared for the groom. So, uh, uh, can you imagine, which I think we talked about this the other Sunday, what it takes for a bride to, to, to get ready? The preparation is, that's needed. So, 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 he said, I will show thee the bride. And then he carried him away into the, in the spirit to a great high mountain and showed him well, the great city, the holy city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out from heaven. Um, now, is the, is the, is the bride, is we, and when we go into the detail, he's talking about the city now and not the bride. When he gives the scripture here in the text, because first he said that I show you the bride. But then he goes on to say, I'm going to show you New Jerusalem, the place. Now he's being specific and talking about the place and not the bride. See, um, the, 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 the bride, the bride, it is not the place. The, he, the holy city, New Jerusalem, is different from the bride. And I, I, I think I want to make sure we understand that because uh, um, we as a people have to understand that God's prepared as a place. Go back to John chapter 14. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. If I go to prepare a place where I will come again and receive unto myself. Mm -hmm. Therefore, therefore, it's, this is the Holy City is a place. Yes. It, it, it's, it's just not uh, uh, we gonna be anywhere. It, it, it's a place that God Himself has prepared for us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so, uh, so, but the bride though is it, it, you and me, and who is you and me? The believers. The believers. The believers, the believers. And so it's very important to understand that, that only the believers are going to be part. Y'all want to pay his own? I'm going to ask her. Don't be scared. <laughs> But, but, uh, and so he says about this city, the holy city. The city is associated with the bride to show us the sense of the beauty. Just as the bride is prepared, well, the building is prepared. <laughs> Think about it now. Um, well, well, if the wedding is going to take place somewhere, they 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 they, they dress, they fix up the building. Uh -huh. They 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 decorate it well. Well, well, here, here, God has made sure that that that, that our, our living condition will be so beautiful. And and this is why the text says that what Paul said that eyes have seen, ears have heard. But what what God has in store for us. It is something marvelous because he has prepared that himself. But, 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 notice now, uh, John was first impressed by the glory of the city. She shared the glory of God and the radiance of all the shining. Uh, the great high wall, the wall was, was not needed for defense. Because there was no more enemies. But the Great Wall gave the city definition as it showed that the sun would be excluded. You know, it didn't, you didn't have to worry about nobody fighting, but, but, but the wall, just, just as in the olden days, um, uh, sometimes, you know, the, the wall was there not to keep people out, but to keep people in. Mm -hmm. But 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 
God prepares these big walls, these walls that have these gates that, that, that show the magnificent beauty of what a city is. Because the, the, the city, uh, if you go back to the old guy, they built walls around the palace. Around, and, and it shows uh, the, the great power of the uh, other city. So now you ask that question I showed you. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Uh, and so, so look at it. It talks about the interest of it. Three gates on the east, three gates on the north. And, and these gates look back to the camp layout used during the Exodus stage. Somebody turn to the numbers the second chapter. That's what that has reference to. Yeah. The wall of the city had 12 foundations. And, and the apostle's name was, was written on them. And why the apostles and not the 12 tribes? It said that uh, that was Jesus, the disciple, the one that that were with him and first the mission to go with him and to preach. There you go. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. And, and, and preach hard, yeah. to tell a story, to build the yeah. churches. Yeah. And they yeah. had power yeah. of the Holy Spirit. And so, so they are really the foundation yeah. of, of the church. Yeah, yeah. 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 They, they, and when we, it's good for us to understand that now. He just, he know, uh, well, uh, Christ the foundation. Well, well we, yeah, yeah, and so, so, so if you look at that, since you brought that up, if you look at the foundation now, we, yeah, we, we know uh, about this rock, I will be, you know, Jesus is the rock, but, 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 but the, the, the apostles are, 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 laid the groundwork down, you know, you don't like that, do you? No, no, I don't. Well, 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 somebody had to do the work now. Jesus. He's no, Jesus used them to do the work. It's sorry. <laughs> yes, but, 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 but when, 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 a, when, a, when a contractor, when a contractor, uh, just, just in layman terms, when a contractor wants to build a building, he doesn't do it himself. He draws the blueprint. He makes the plan. Jesus did that. Yeah, that. Jesus correct. had the plan, but then he used the apostles yeah. to go and smooth the way, yeah. make the way straight. Figuratively speaking, figuratively speaking, yeah. yeah. figuratively speaking. I, 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 yeah, yeah. So, so, so yeah. Uh, uh, we are, we are here to do what? Well, tell story. Yeah, to, do, to, to continue to do the work. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. The the, the church. Uh, will not fail because Jesus is not going to let it fail. Mm -hmm. but, but, but somebody has to be here mm -hmm. to continue to do the work. So, so, so that's where you and I come in. Same way with the apostles. Uh, uh, er, God, in God's plan, everybody had an uh, assignment. Yes. So everybody had a purpose. Mm -hmm. Same way with you and I today. Uh, it, it's a beautiful story when we look at it, how God has put it together. But, but, but uh, the apostles, uh, you, you know, because they was up in the beginning with Jesus as he walked on earth. They, they, their, their names get put on, 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 the, on the foundation. And they were, they were, called, they were called at the beginning. Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, they were at the beginning of yeah, the yeah. church. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's no different. Then, then uh, the, the 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 members, the first members uh, who signed the the, the Constitution, mm -hmm. the names get put on the Constitution. Same way, like uh, if you whoever was like the charter members of our organization, their names get put in, and that's all. That's all we said about the apostles. Mm -hmm. uh, we 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 you gotta give them you, you gotta give them some. I, I, you know, respect and honor too. All the all the glory go to God now. But we do respect. We do recognize the work they laid down, and that's what that's what God is doing because that was His plan. But <coughs> the city, though, the city itself, He 
goes in great detail to talk about what the how the city is laid out, the dimensions of the city. The city is laid out as a square. New Jerusalem. Length, height, and width are equal. And we call it a, a cube or four square city. So, so this entire city is a holy place. The size of New Jerusalem is enormous. 12,000 foot long equals 1,500 miles or 2,400 kilometers. This is the same distance from Maine to Florida. Now, y'all, that's, that's a whole lot right there. Maine is right at the top, and Florida's right at the bottom. I would hate to have to drive on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The, the square footage would approximately the size of the moon. So you know what I think about, you know, the, we see the moon, but how big is that moon? A city of this size is too large for the imagination to take in. John is certainly conveying the idea of a splendor. And more important than all, the room, we have plenty of room for everybody. Mm -hmm. See, God made this city large enough for all believers. It's not going to be no, it's not going to be a crowd. Uh, uh, now I'm just I'm just talking there. Uh, you know how the roads are in the state on ninety nine on Friday hundred first bumper to bumper. Mm-hmm. You don't have that problem. This, or how you ever been in a mall and you, you know or at a concert or something you pushing trying it's, it's so packed. We don't have that problem in heaven. Or at a buffet line. They <laughs> 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 got those crab legs and stuff. And everybody's trying to get. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have that problem. We have plenty of room in, uh, for, for for us to to to, to be. Because cause this is why we have to change. Because if we don't change, we'll be still pushing one another over. We wouldn't we wouldn't have the love to to let. You go first. Mm-hmm. We wouldn't. We wouldn't have the step back. Say, you know, you go first. You know, we, that, that's what God's trying to get us. You know, the the, the way we was taught coming up as a child, to open the door to 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 think of others. Yes. Th- those 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 kind of riches is needed mm-hmm. when we get done. Yes. Yeah, and we and we can't be knocking each other down and stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, 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 God has placed this beautiful city, and if we, if we can't take care of one another, then we ain't going to be able to take care of this, this place, this structure. Yeah. The beauty of this structure, the construction of this wall was a jasper. What's so important about jasper and pure gold and all these precious stones? Exodus 28, mm-hmm. 15 through 21. Yeah. When, 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 um, we talked about how heavy that was probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the high priest, high priest breast, breastplate, mm-hmm. uh, uh, all those gemstones. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what, what that one was, so I looked it up that C H A L C D O N Y, Chalcedona. Uh huh. I wasn't sure what, what kind of stone that was, so I looked it up and it said it stood for. Stability and balance, and I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So these stones of God made them big, and they needed these stones. Yeah, yeah, they, these are all natural. They're right. Yeah. <coughs> and, and 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 they're pure beauty. Yeah. You, you you didn't have to do nothing to make them beauty. Right. They 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 came out of the ground mm-hmm. beautiful. <laughs> Just 
<laughs> Y'all really. <laughs> and so this symbolism is not meant to give the impression of wealth and luxury, but to, but to point to the glory and holiness of God. See, see, uh, in the midst of how beautiful it is, it's still all about God's glory. Yes. And so um, it talks about what, how, 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 the clear glass, the constant mission of transparency indicates that the city is designed to transmit the glory of God in the form of light without hindrance. In other words, uh, we should be able to be able to always see the the glory of God and His beneficence. Because it's, uh, it says that, you know, no matter how you refine gold, right. it's not going to be transparent. That's right. But here, it, it points out that this, this gold would be like transparent. That's light. exactly right. So who could do that for God? That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well. You know, uh, and, and read, uh, you think about the, the, new, the new Jerusalem area, the city. When you go back, God gives specific instruction on how He wants stuff done. Mm -hmm. What made you think He's not gonna do it? Cause He gonna be doing it Himself. Mm -hmm. This city, so you know it's gonna be beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So, so, uh, and not only, and the, and um, the city is gonna be beautiful, but the people. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, see that, and that's why it's so important for us to understand. Preparation is needed now. Change is needed now. We have to be more. We have to be more adaptable, more flexible in the day to day. One of, one of the biggest problems. One of the biggest problems, and we don't think about it. Is it, it, in the music. The music. How has that changed? Oh Lord, yes. And you know, and I'm, I'm not, not just secular, but but but, but church music too now. Amen. You know, it, uh, it has changed for the time. Uh, uh, we don't want, but, but, but I always imagine, you know, those old hymns that our forefathers used to sing. Mm -hmm. And then, and then uh, uh, it went from the old hymns to, to what? Just plain gospel, to, to, to contemporary gospel. Yeah. And now it's contemporary, contemporary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And now they got a little rock, a little, a little rap in the contemporary now. Yeah, uh, uh, and, and, and even, even, even in the secular music, how it has changed. Uh, uh, and, and that just changed with, 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 with the generations. And, and you know, and so, so we who are not from that generation struggle with it. <laughs> but but, but uh, and I thought about that because uh, our parents struggle with, with, with some of the music we used yes. to. Mm -hmm. You you know uh, they, they they grew up more on on on, on, on maybe maybe Nat King Cole and all them, and, and we we start listening to uh, the Jackson Five or the Temptations and Stevie Wonder, mm -hmm. and then 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 our children listen to Who Did It and. Any and Winnie and all the rest of them. <laughs> I, don't, I'm, I don't know the <laughs> yeah, I don't know the names, y'all. Well, but but but, 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 but and, and and we might not agree with it, but we have to learn that, that that's the that's where how the change come. And, and one of the biggest problems because they have, the the world and society gets so far out there because because the disregard for for for. For, for 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 human kind, how they how they how they degrade one another so bad, and that and that's the problem right there. But that and, and that's why we got to be careful, uh, not not be so quick to to, to push it aside where we can't reach the folks. So we want we want to be able to make it make, make them understand that 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 all music ain't good music. But 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 if we slam the door, if we slam the door first, we won't be able to to to, to reach them. Somebody had to hand up. Amen. Because we have to remember, we are not just we're exclusive, we're to include. So uh, the change probably occurs to those who are senior. 
you know, who have been here a long time, what has been in my, uh, my life as a Christian, or even my life in my job, you know, because you would think about it, all of us are looking for sure. So when changes happen in the job, we're the first ones to complain. You know, but we have realized change is needed. And, you know, change is needed. And um, I, by me being here, when Brother Mason comes in with his new ideas, whether it be music or anything, it is for me to accept him. That's right. But it's all for me to guide him to make these things on course. Yeah. You know, so if I if I sit there and exclude him before he can ever say anything, then right. I'm not allowing him to be the Christian that I want him to be. That's right. You know, and, 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 and not only that, though, yeah. not only that, we, 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 we feel like he's not wanting me. Yeah. And so, so it's easy for him just to fold up his, his bag and, and, and not come back. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And, that, and, that, and that's what, and if we, if we look at the text now, because the text talks, it doesn't really break it out, but it shows us change, yeah. and so, 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 and for us to really uh, move, we gotta change. I, I, I hate moving. <laughs> I, I hate moving. I'm saying packing bags and doing moving furniture. I, 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 that's not me right there, y'all. <laughs> that's not me. I want to take my wife I want to buy one house and put some furniture in it. That's not me. I want to buy one house and then tear you up and move again. I'm like, what? Well, that's not me. 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 That's not <laughs> yeah, because uh, uh, and, and, and I, I uh, that, uh, and, and I think about that how, how we we as believers are, we 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 like we 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 want to get comfortable in our in our lives, yeah. and, 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 and 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 we and sometimes I guess you can say we get too complacent, and, and, and we we can't handle change. Oh. Uh, We'll just show y'all some. We went, we went from um, uh, to operate off a of bench board to operate off computer. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, everybody who had been there before me couldn't stand it. Mm -hmm. They could not stand it. They, they, could, they couldn't see them, they said. It's right on the computer. But they, couldn't, they said they couldn't see them. They couldn't find them. They complained. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, all the young guys, all everybody from me, I, I, I don't, they got to love me. Cause it seemed, it was seemed, it seemed. Now I operated both ways and I felt like this was a better way. But the controls was better than everything. But, uh, four years later, the, you know, they were upgrading some more. Uh, and I said they made the best controls, but, but I'm a dinosaur, y'all. I, 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 I do days is over operating. But if we don't learn to uh, adapt, and be flexible with it, then, 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 then we, 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 we will be left behind. Yeah. And that's what's wrong with churches, mm -hmm. Sister Lord. I was talking about computers. Mm -hmm. um, when they first started uh, the computer and doing stuff online with Johnson, mm -hmm. I had never done anything mm -hmm. on computers. So I was, like you, like you said, yeah. totally in the dark. Mm -hmm. But as time went on, and things changed. Um, my kids, mm -hmm. uh, they started with well, my son in law, he used to reveal computers. Mm -hmm. So he gave me a computer, showed me how to use it and all that, and I just kept on and on. Mm -hmm. And when I ended up, when I retired to Johnston, my work was in tech on mm -hmm. the computer. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that I did that mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, going through the pandemic. And people were talking about how lonely and disconnected they mm -hmm. were. I could stay in touch with my kids from the right. time I got up until I go to bed if I want to. Yeah. And I'm able to, you know, to, to do things with, uh, with technology. I'm not that great at it, but I can do what I need to do. Amen. And so sometimes, you know, you have to, you have to change. You have to. That's right. It's good. Change is good. Yes. Yeah. And so you have to. Uh, you have to sometimes, you know, come along and get to see space differently. I remember when they started doing it at the hospital, recording records. Paula, you know, she was on, on uh, worked on the floor thing, 
and she was talking about how what a struggle it was for them to, you know, learn how to do all that just on keep uh, their records and everything on the computer. But now it's no problem. They learn how to do it. Yeah, so, so you think about that. Think about what the pandemic did for us. So that's what it is. Non-denomination church is really is is that's right growing, and the, the the problem with that the problem is that it, it's those doctoral issues. Mm -hmm. what, what what are you going to teach? Right. Um, if, if I'm a Baptist, I'm in a non-denomination church. I'm going to still teach what I know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach the Baptist doctrine. So, but the Bible, a Methodist might be up teaching, mm -hmm. and what he's going to teach? Right. He's going to teach a Methodist. So, so what you what you find that you have in that church is it, 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 a lot of chaos <laughs> because because everybody's teaching what, what what they know. Now, if nobody don't know nothing, <laughs> then, then you just don't teach nothing. <laughs> but, since then, I'm gonna get. But then I got it. But, but saying that, you know, as we look at the new city and all like that, um, and we look at change. back to the city says uh, we see what kind of city it is. Mm -hmm. And so so just as the city is beautiful, we have to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. And this is why we have to change, you know, um, um, in, in heaven, 
Um, it's going to be joy, peace, and happiness. Thank you. And, and because there's no need for the sun or the moon, mm -hmm. we will have prayer worship. Prayer worship. Mm -hmm. The things we used to help us worship often end up in distraction. <coughs> Excuse me. So you think about it. The lights, the clock, the music system, all these things that, that uh, the PA system, these things that helped us is really a hindrance in, in the worship. And we don't need all that stuff now. Mm -hmm. Our folks will be totally on, on one person, God himself. You can think about it, every time the door was open, it, it, it's a distraction. And so we won't have that problem no more. People, people be on time. Or they won't be there at all. I mean, you think about it. Between, between 11 and 11 30, sometimes 11 45, people are coming in and out. Yes. And then, then the lamb is, is, is the light. And then, so you know, you think about it, the lamb itself, uh, what he gives us. He gives us joy, and, 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 and that joy it should be a together with joy. Because we all should be able to see the beauty of, of Jesus Christ himself. Because without Jesus, there's no beauty. Without Jesus, there's no joy. And so access to the city, um, it says among the nation of those who are saved should walk in his life. And the king's on the earth, did I go too far? No. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm too far. I, I, let me, yeah, I want to. Yeah, I want to to expand on that. A little bit other part, but but uh, the transparency of its dimensions and the scripture might seem confused or impossible, but there are two main main principles to keep in mind. First, we must understand the idea of communicating the details of the glory, the beauty, and the splendor. Second, we must understand that this city was architect and maker of who? God. God. And so we should expect it to be young, our comprehension. Mm -hmm. So, 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 if we, if we took, if we took the best thing we had, we need to tax about 10 million. Because that's, that's what God's going to do. We, we, the, 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 the city that God has for us, the place where we're going to worship, it, 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 it can, can, can only be a, we can only be imagined of it in our dreams, but then we got to be multiplied. We be, because uh, our mind and mind cannot, cannot really even criticize what God's going to have for us. So, so, and everything's uh, be able to point back to God. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, God Himself should be. We should be able to see His glory, did not So that's that's the. We should be able to see His glory, and so it's not about us. It's all about Him, and that's and this is what the worship I was supposed to do for us. It's supposed to prepare us for, the, for that day itself. When we worship, it's not about us. Uh, it's about Him. So, 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 
So, so uh, yesterday's church, the deacon prayed so long because the deacon would pray to God, but then he's going to pray until he got himself happy, until he felt, until he felt God's presence. Yeah. It's, the choir was singing until they got happy. Because they, they weren't singing for, for, for the crowd, they were singing for, for, for about, about them giving glory to God. Yeah. If, if, if we would eliminate, we got, and we quit worrying about time. Cut, cut, you know, we cut songs off, we cut, we cut everything short because we worry about uh, a time limit. And, and then, and then uh, we really would give our best to God because we can't put a time on God. The church is the only thing we, we, we watch the clock at. You go to a ball game. Ball game going triple over time. And we'll sit there and watch it. Won't complain about time. Let, 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 let us go past, too far past 12, 15, 12, 20. Uh, we start saying, well, he's been up long enough, man. <laughs> man, where we going to go? Oh, they, oh, they son too long. But, 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 but if our focus really was on God yeah. and, and, and praising God, see, what we going to do in heaven? See, this is why we got to change. Because, oh, we've been here long enough. Where is you going to go, man? <laughs> you, you, you know, and, and, and this won't change that to happen. We, 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 uh, we, we, uh, we can't, we can't worry about time. We can't worry because we try to please God. Yes, Lord. Well, it go back to what you said a while ago. It's all about heaven is a prepared place for prepared people. Mm -hmm. Church should be for prepared people. You don't call me at the last minute. Uh, then you. Uh, trying to get food, you should prepare yourself and go on over there so can bring God with you. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So then when you, you feel with the spirit, you have a little bit of time or I'm glad we stop preaching, you've been doing long enough. Yeah. Because you prepared yourself. Yeah. And, and, and um so 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 uh, and, and 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 don't get wrong, church has changed too now. We have changed our worship Bible. And 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 and, and um, but but, but it, it it doesn't matter about the time. I will even do my best. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. That so 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 if 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 we had church for an hour, if we gave our best in that hour, mm -hmm. well then wouldn't be no problem. Yes. But we should, it should be a a a a, a rush through hour. Yes. You know, a a, a dress rehearsal. It's just what it is, a dress rehearsal. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do everything to make sure everything is right. Well 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 this is a dress rehearsal. If we're gonna be able to enjoy the beauty of what God has for us, then it's gonna take some sacrifice now. Then it's gonna take some changes now. We 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 because uh, our lives have to be able to match. The beauty of the city. Yeah, you know, uh, it, what it says there in Revelation 21, and God should be their God, mm -hmm. and we should be God's people, mm -hmm. and God will bread within us. Mm -hmm. Well, before that to happen, there can be no more sin. Mm -hmm. So, so, so that, that sin from nature has to be removed. Yep. And that's why it's so important for us to understand that we have to be able to love one another. The Holy City is a beautiful city. But, but before it to really take place, we have to be prepared for that Holy City. Look, look, what, the, look what it says, sir, at, 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 in that purified uh, question. It says, no place like it. It is difficult for people to imagine living in a place that is totally different from the one they presently live. So, so, who can imagine? Yeah. How would how would my neighbors be there? What kind of what kind of mansion would I have? Uh, we, we can't imagine living in heaven. But this is what this is what John talks about, though. And so so when we re really get to thinking about it. It's mind-boggling. Yes, it uh, 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 uh. But, but, but this is why the journey 
we had to continue to, to apply ourselves for it. That's what God's trying to do. He, he's getting us ready for it. And regardless of what we think, what Romans 8 and 28 says, all things work together. It's regardless of how we might feel and how we might think, they work together for good. We had a discussion the other night about why does God allow trouble or what he went for? Some of us said hell to come in our lives. Job, 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 Job uh, God allowed Satan to do what he wanted to say to, to Job. God allowed that. God wants to brag on us all. Yes. But 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 but, but we ain't, we're not all at the stage where Job was at. Yes. And I'm, before y'all get to say, well, I want to be like Job. Think about that now. <laughs> now, now you 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 ask what you asking God to give you to do what Job he do out Job say to do to Job now. So so what I'm saying, but well, that's what God wants. He wants to brag on because we're His children, and and our lives are here to glorify Him. And he wants to use our lives to give him glory. And so it's the testimony that when we go through the storm, that, that we have to share with one another. And we, as and I said, we, Brother Glover, when we have men's ministry, we, we have to go through a testimony period. Because we, as men, don't want to testify about the storms we go through. But we, we go through storms, too. Yes. Uh, I, I was, we cry, I had to cry, too. There's pain in us too, and, and, and we have, we think we God wants to share that with the world, where He might be glorified. Uh, because because what God we serve, oh, a classmate, I'm done with my classmate with mine. Uh, had a had a tumor size of a peach embedded in his lung. Uh, they had to do open heart surgery. Pulled his heart, had to pull his heart back and pull out the tumor uh, and then sew, put him back, sew him back up. And he, and, and um, Jerome Rogers, and, and, uh, and he, and he, everything was successful. Uh, but that was, that's only God now. That, that's only God. Uh, 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 and they gonna buy it. Um, they had everybody there working together. And, and, and that's what, it takes, it takes teamwork. Uh, uh, we we gotta share our testimony. Just let them know that we and that that that, that and do 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 this. I was never alone. Uh, I, I I I I had somebody always with me, and that's what God wants to be able to do. To 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 be able to to to, to be able to have how are we gonna testify? Uh, praise God if we can't praise for Him. You, you, you know, this is this is what I'm going through storms. Oh, one of them all shouting. But, but, but if I don't learn to thank him now, I will never be able to give him glory there. Amen. And so, so it's, it's very important now for us to let God, let the world know that when the God we serve has been good to us all. Amen. God bless you all, man.